My name is Malik Altebi and this is my English Ten PLO, which I'm going to do first. Um, so I did a character analysis on Guy Montag from the book Fahrenheit 451. Um, Guy Montag is a self-obsessed character who deep down is unsatisfied with society and expressed through subconscious actions. So my first evidence is he knew that when he returned to the firehouse, he might wink at himself, a menstrual man, burnt cork in the mirror. Later, going to sleep, he would feel a fiery smile st still gripped by his face muscles in the dark. So, basically, this show this is evidence of him being self-obsessed. It shows uh, him winking at himself in the mirror and smiling while he's still going to sleep. So that's basically uh, self-obsessed traits. And also, um, a menstrual man, menstrual, comes from what I looked up, uh, medieval singers that saying about heroic things and nobility so I guess he thinks he's uh, heroic and noble and burnt corks just uh, that's a thing where they burn corks and put it on their face a uh, black face so that meant uh, he still had ash on his face from the job and the evidence too is his hand had done it all his hand with the brain of its own with the conscience and curiosity in each trembling finger had turned a thief. Now it plunged the book back under his arm. So he was unsatisfied with, deep down he was unsatisfied with uh, just burning books and not reading them. So uh, subconsciously his hand took the book and hit it under his arm. And evidence three, we can't burn these. I want to look at them once. Then if what the captain says is true, we'll burn them together. And this is what God Montag said to his wife when she found the books and wanted to go burn them. He was not sure if what the captain said about the books was true. He wanted to see for himself. And then if what he said was true, then he would burn them. But he had to be sure. He wasn't satisfied and was just not going. Any, any questions? No. Okay. Um, my World History PLO. Um, my thesis for Essential Skill 4 about imperial, the causes of imperialism and the effects on racial inequalities. Imperialism was caused by the white man's burden and technological advances brought by the Industrial Revolution and it greatly increased racial inequalities due to social Darwinism. Evidence 1. White man's burden is the belief that Europeans had a duty to spread their culture and religion to non-European countries. So this was a big motivation to go to other countries since they felt obligated to teach them their ways and Christianity and civilize other countries that they felt were not civilized. And then two, most countries during the Industrial Revolution did not have guns and other industrial weapons except for Europe. Europe used these advantages to, to defeat other countries that used old-fashioned weapons. So. They had lots of technological advancements, and a lot of them were brought by the Industrial Revolution. So that was also more motivation to go conquer other countries because they knew they could probably win with the technology they had. And evidence for uh, how racial inequalities were increased. Uh, Europeans became the most powerful force in the world, so their beliefs were influential in the world. So. Europeans believe in social Darwinism, meaning that basically white is the best. And since they became the most powerful force in the world, their beliefs spread around the world and influenced the world. So racial inequalities were everywhere and also uh, in the main country.